popcorn people of the world, let's talk about Hot House video, Jock Doc. This is directed by Shishi LaRue. What is it about doctors and physicals that turn us on so much? I mean, I think a lot of people out there play doctor as kids, and that in itself was something that just kind of led into what we do in adulthood. In relation to this movie, it consists of four different scenes, and all four of them do have jocks in it. Although there's only one doctor in this movie, and that's played by Alex Mako. He makes a cameo appearance in the third scene, however, he stars in the fourth one, which his co-star happens to be Skynox. The first scene stars Jack Hunter, while his co-star in that happens to be Woody Fox. In scene number two, we have towel boy Danny Gunn, who's caught perving out by the coach who happens to be Ryan Rose. And in the third scene is when we finally get into the doctor's office, where Pierce Paris has some sort of shoulder injury. And he's met by the nurse Dean Monroe, who's pretending to be the doctor at that point. I fucking love LaRue's work. The first scene is somewhat tame in intensity in comparison to the other three scenes, but hearing Woody Fox's accent, that made it worth it. But scene number two, Ryan really knows how to handle his bottoms. Like, he really manhandles them and kind of shoves them down in certain ways. And Danny played up the whole idea, oh, I was caught, so I got to do anything the coach says. But the third scene, beyond a doubt, that is the one that really got me. I mean, I jizzed all over my desk after I saw that. Pierce is just totally overwhelming when he's doing his fucking face. He just looks like he's so incredibly into it, so I love seeing everything he does. And Dean being his partner in this, that was a strong pairing. Now, the final scene was more distinct, being that the doctor had a role in it. And I've said it before in previous Hot House stuff, but I mean, I love Skynox. Top or bottom, he's noticeable for his performance. And since he flip-flop with Alex, make them, that was just like icing on the cake. This movie was fierce from beginning all the way to the end. I mean, each scene had their own unique premise to them. If I had to pick one that I thought was better than all of the others, I'd probably go with either the fourth scene or maybe the third scene. The fourth scene being that we had a flip-flopping action, but in the third scene, we had Pierce Paris, which again, I already said that I love this guy. Shishi LaRue, what a fantastic director. The details, the background, the intensity of all of the performers, totally spot on. But I've been talking way too much about this movie review at this point. If you're interested in watching this movie in its entire or if you want to see the individual scenes, you want to go to hothouse.com and you can watch it from there. That's the end of this video. This is that point where I try to whore myself out as much as I possibly can for you to check out my Patreon site. It's patreon.com slash geekcomicgeek. You become one of my patrons, you get to see some extra pictures, videos, photo shoots, and things that I just show to patrons. Check it out when you get a chance, I'd really appreciate it. And with that, I will join you guys in another video very soon. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. Just my personal opinion, but Ryan Rose is sporting a beard in this movie, and if he grew his hair out just a little bit longer, he would look a lot like Chris Evans does as Captain America in the Avengers Infinity War movie. But again, though, this is just my personal opinion.